Let's get started. Open a browser and type ibm.com slash db2 slash express and press enter. This will take you to the home page of db 2 express C. This is the way this page looks like at the time this video was created. Since this page is updated frequently, there is a good chance it may not look exactly as what you see in this video. However, the main areas of interest should be the same. Click on the button that says Download V9.7. This will take you to the download page. Let's go to the first section to download db 2 express C. Depending on your platform, Windows, Linux, Solaris or Mac, choose the right link. If the name does not include 64 in it, it is normally a 32-bit version. For example, let's pick the 32-bit version of db 2 express C on Windows. And I click there. I am now taken to a page where I need to sign in or register. You can register so you do not need to repeat this process again in the future. I am already registered and my user ID and password were saved by the browser, so I could sign in. However, for illustration purposes, let's click on Proceed without an IBM ID. On this page, let's input the required information such as the first name, last name, email address, company, and country. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page, and after reviewing the license, click on I agree, and then on I confirm. Now you can choose the files that you want to download. Know that you can download using Download Director or HTTP. The recommendation is to use Download Director for performance, and it also lets you pause and resume your downloads. Let's now pick the files that you want to download. If you just want the database server, you can choose the first option. If you want an administration tool and development tool for DB2, we recommend you to download IBM Data Studio. If you are a Visual Studio developer, choose the DB2 add-ins for Visual Studio. In my case, I'm going to choose Select All Files, and then I'm going to scroll down and click on Download Now. A new window will pop up, which will start the download director. It will first prompt you for the location where you want to download files. In my case, the path indicated is good, so I click OK. When the downloading process is completed, I go to the download directory that I had specified in the download directory tool, and I can see the three files downloaded and ready to